Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learn with Rhythma. Today we will be learning about safety rules in a cycle. So first let us see uh, how to cycle for those who cannot uh, cycle for two wheelers. Okay. Now first you keep one leg in the pedal and the other leg in the ground. You give some pressure in the leg and then the cycle will move. After some time you just keep your other leg in the pedal and then you start cycling. I know this is a little difficult at first but I am really sure you will get it fast enough. Now let's see uh, the main thing almost all of us do while cycling. Moving the handle. I know it is a little unstable to cycle in the two wheelers but see you should always keep your handle straight. Either it be four, three or two wheelers. You always have to keep your handle straight while cycling. You or else you might crash on people or things. And while you crash on people, you will make the other person hurt and yourself hurt, which we do, don't want. And if you crash on things, you might damage something or and you will get hurt by yourself. You and you will get scoldings and you'll get hurt we don't want that either so beware about that now let us see when uh, what do we do what should we do while a turn now almost all of us make this mistake that we move the handle which is very dangerous i'm telling you like when we go straight and move the handle i told you you might crash and fall down. Same way for a turn. You might get hurt in an edge or something which will lead you to get hurt. And you should always keep you should always keep your hand little tilted. Not too much, little tilted. And then after you do go through the turn, just go straight. Now let us see why speed bumps are there. And then I will tell you how should we uh, be in the speed breaker place. Now, in the speed breaker, what is a speed breaker? Uh, almost all of us have seen some bumpy things. And almost all of our mothers also told you why these speed breakers are there. But for those who d whose mother did not tell, I am telling you now. Now, speed breakers are there. Like, now you just predict that you are playing. And when speedy car comes, and there is a speed breaker there. So, the this, this speed breaker breaks the fastness of the car. It, may, it makes, it have, the car has to go slow in the speed breaker or else it will get, the person inside might get hurt. Now, uh, now if you are cycling, I just now told you that these speed breakers break the fastness. Now, if you are going to go fast in the speed breaker, just imagine how, you'll, how badly you'll get hurt. You might get a hurt in your hand, legs, or sometimes even in your head, which is really dangerous and which le might lead you to a lifetime hurt. We don't want that while cycling in a normal day, isn't it? So just be aware about these. Now let us see when should we use the bell. Now this bell is bell indicates a person or a vehicle that there's a cycle behind you right now just think that it's a car and uh, why do we keep a honk everybody knows because you want to tell that uh, can you make way a car is there same way for the cycle but just remember that you should never uh, use the uh, bell unnecessarily because it is bad okay that's it for today before i go please like and subscribe but now bye